Hi boys and girls, we are doing another lab today. Um, this should be split screen between your um, attachment and the video. Um, if you have not already downloaded the attachment, there was actually a reading at the top of that with two questions that you needed to do first. So if you did not go do that, um, please do that now. Um, pause this video and come back to it. If you've already read those three paragraphs or listened to me read them and you've answered those two questions, then you are in the right spot. It is time for our lab. We are still investigating how do magnetic forces and static electricity affect objects. So today we are on magnet station four and this is called Does It Attract? If you wanted to try this at home, you would need a magnet, a metal brad, there's a picture of one right here in the baggie, um, a paper clip, a washer, and a wooden stick. So those are the things you would need. If you don't have them, that's okay. I will do them for you and you can just complete your assignment with me. So your lab procedure, these are the steps, the sequence of your assignment. It says take all the objects out of the baggie. Which objects do you think will be attracted to, to a magnet? Write yes in the prediction column if you think it will stick to the magnet. Write no if you think the object will not stick to the magnet or not be attracted. Touch the magnet to each object one by one. Write yes in the, in the actual column if the object sticks to the magnet. Write no if it is not attracted to the magnet. So your bottom of your paper looks like this. This is what we're working on right now. So we are going to start with the very first column. The very first um, item is a metal brad. You can see it at the top of this video right here. Um, I need you to make a prediction. Do you think that this metal brad will attract to our magnet? I need you to write yes or no in this prediction box right here that I have my mouse on. Go ahead and do that now. Pause the video if you need extra time. We are going to actually try it now. You'll watch the video and if it does, you'll write yes and if it doesn't, you'll write no. Let's see. Does it attract? Yes, it does. So make sure you put yes in the actual column. Did you get, was your prediction correct? Okay, now you should be done with the metal brad. You should have an answer in both of those boxes up there for the prediction and actual. We are now on to paperclip. Please predict, is the paperclip going to attract to the magnet? Yes or no, write that in now. Let's see if you're right. The answer was yes. In the actual column, please write the word yes. Were you correct? Make sure you have something in both of those boxes. Time to move on to washer. Here is a picture of the washer. Do you think that that washer will attract to the Magnet, yes or no, please write it in this box. All right, we're going to test it out now. Does it attract? It sure does. All right, in that actual column, please write yes, it does attract. Okay, final one, the wooden stick. It's just a popsicle stick. Do you think it will attract? Yes or no? Please write that in your prediction box. Let's check your answer. Is it attracting? Nope. It didn't. So in the actual box, you need to write the word no. Now you should have all of those categories at the bottom done. You should have already read those top three paragraphs or listened to me read them and answered the two questions in the red boxes. And you are finally ready to submit to Schoology. Great job in science today.